Hello and welcome to our modern money journey. Just a brief reminder that I am not a licensed professional. This is not investment advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. Welcome to episode two of our modern money journeys build a portfolio series where every month we take a look at the markets, deposit $100 in the Weeble, and make a purchase. This month, we're actually going to be making two purchases, so make sure to stay tuned to the end for that bonus purchase. So, opening up Weeble, this is our homepage, and we'll go to Trade, which will open up the trading platform, and we can recap how we did last month after making our purchase. So, Last month episode, we made a purchase of Intel. So let's go to our account. Let's enter our password. So we purchased one share of Intel Corporation on last month's episode of Build a Portfolio. We purchased it for $49.03, and it's currently about $50.80. So we're up a little over $1.80, so about 3.5% on, on that position, and our total account is up a little bit under a percent. So pretty good for our first month. So let's jump into the markets and take a look and see how things are going. Going over to coin360.com to take a look at the cryptocurrency markets. We can see that it's a mixed day of red and green across the board, with Bitcoin leading the way for the green coins, up about 2.4% or almost 2.5%, and then followed closely by Ethereum. So the big, you know, the big three, the big three market cap coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ripple, are uh, you know, all up a little bit today, being led by Bitcoin, and then you know it's a mixture of all the altcoins of being up and down. So to take a look at the other markets, I'd like to show you guys this tool, which is TradingView.com. TradingView.com offers a lot of the same capabilities as. Yahoo Finance or other platforms, but it also offers a little bit more. It has a lot of, uh, you know, tools, it has a lot of data, and it's just a great platform to use. I really enjoy it for, you know, just coming to it and being able to capture a quick look of what's going on in all the different markets. It also offers a screener tool for stock screeners, foreign exchange currency uh, screener, and crypto screener. Um, and then it also offers charting technique or uh, charting capabilities as well. So coming down here, let's go to more indices so we can look at the the big three that we're worried about. So today the S and P 500 is up a little bit. The NASDAQ composite is down just a little bit, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average is up almost a percent. So that's pretty good for the Dow Jones. These are almost negligible amounts. So things haven't changed too much since last month's episode in the broader markets. So our you know general approach to things will remain the same. We want to be looking for dividend flowing undervalued companies or companies that are participating in certain areas that we believe that will participate with, or that will will perform well over the future including tech companies healthcare companies and stuff related to industrial processes and commodity processes so let's go back to Weeble so that we can actually use their stock screener for this month's search. So I've already built a screener for this episode. I'm going to go in here and hit modify so that I can show you guys what I've done. So I've left it 
in the United States for the region. I've left it all exchanges, all sectors. For market cap, I've simply done one billion and higher. So once your company becomes worth a billion dollars, the likelihood of your company failing goes down significantly. You know, once you're a billion dollar company, you're 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 good. You should be good as long as you manage yourself properly. So did for market cap a billion and higher. For price, we're doing under fifty dollars this month because we wanted to make two purchases and we still want to leave a little bit of cash left over if possible so that we can remain cash heavier or leaving some cash in our account so that if any opportunities uh, come up that we can take advantage of those. So we're going to leave our price looking for something under $50. Our PE price to earnings ratio we're going to go from 0 to 15. So we want them to be earning money. So that's why we're starting at 0. And we don't want their price to be more than 15 times higher than their earnings. You don't want a really high price of earnings. Uh, because then that just means that their, their price is really high in comparison to their earnings. So then we'll come down to their return on equity. So the S&P 500's average over like the last decade has been 14%. So we're going to go with 15%. Then we'll come down to return on assets. And I put in 10% for that so that we can capture this tail on this spike. So these distributions are the companies, the number of companies that lie in that range. So, you know, you have a lot of companies that lie in this range with return on equity. You have a lot of companies that lie in this range with return on assets. Uh, but so I want to grab this this spike up here and for return on equity I was wanted to be above the the S&P 500 average. So just with those we're left with 31 companies. And these are the 31 companies that we're left with. I've taken a look through these and several of them fall in line with what I believe would be a good purchase or would make good additions to our portfolio. So this month, though, I'm going to check out Seagate Technologies. So T Seagate Technologies is an international data storage technology company. So to take a look at them a little bit more closely, we will go to seekingalpha.com. And then we can you know, put in their ticker symbol here, their name here, and it'll come up. But I've already searched it. So let's take a look at some of the details about Seagate technology. So we can see from the chart that they're down from recent highs over the last year. So that's attractive. Their earnings per share forward is about $4 and 50 cents. So that's pretty, or giving them a PE of, a, you know, under 11, a little bit over 10, which is pretty attractive. Like this is, this is pretty low. So that's pretty attractive. And then this dividend yield is pretty attractive to me as well. So then here on Seeking Alpha, we can scroll down and there's, uh, you know, different articles written by different analysts and then news articles. You know, these articles are both for and against, you know, Seagate technology. So it's good to take, you know, come through and read through a lot of these just to get a feel for, you know, how analysts think it's going to perform and how people are reacting to the analysts and just get a you know, general feel for what people are thinking. You can come down and read the company's profile. So Seagate Technology PLC provides data storage, technology, and solutions in Singapore, the United States, the Netherlands, and internationally. So they're an international data storage company. So we can look at their revenue, see that their revenue has been pretty steady over the last couple years. We can see that their <clears throat> earnings per share has been oscillating a little bit, but nothing, you know, nothing too scary. Nothing to be worried about. Let's come down and take a look at their profitability. All of these are positive, which is great to see. This return on equity is really great to see. And then lastly, let's take a look at their dividends. So their dividend yield is almost 5.5%. That's pretty high for a typical stock. 
um, and yet their payout ratio is 57%. So this isn't too high, which we don't want this to be high. So they're, they're not in danger of um, overextending themselves, paying out too much of their money as dividends. So this dividend should be relatively sustainable. What's also attractive is we can see that their ex-dividend date is September 22nd. So if we can get in before this date, then we will receive dividend on October 7th. However many shares we hold on September 22nd, we will get 65 cents per each share. So that's that dividend payout. That's that, that dividend cash flow that we're, we're seeking to help build our cash flow into our portfolio and into our account. So let's make us a purchase of Seagate Technologies. Let's come back over here to the screener. We can come to trade. Let's put in Seagate Technologies. We'll make this a market order. We want one share. And let's place that order. Oh, buy. And let's place that order. Yep, let's buy. And it should have been submitted successfully. And let's go to our account. And now we own a share of Seagate Technologies. And we're already, uh, oh, I guess we're not. I spoke too soon. I was going to say we were already up for two cents there for a second. But, so, now let's talk about our bonus purchase. Let's take a look at some news that I just saw a few days ago. Virgin Galactic to launch its first suborbital space flight from Spaceport America in October. Launch window opens on October 22nd. Virgin Galactic will fly to space again next month if all goes well according to plan. The space tourism company's latest Spaceship 2 vehicle, known as VSS Unity, has made two crewed test flights to suborbital space first in December 2018 and then again in February 2019. Virgin Galactic is now preparing for its next suborbital test flight, which could launch as soon as October 22nd. If this test flight is successful, that will be huge for Virgin Galactic. So let's take a look at Virgin Galactic on Seeking Alpha. So looking at their price chart, we can see that they're down from recent highs. They've kind of plateaued out. This signals that this is a relatively safe buy. To me, this signals that this is a relatively safe buy in here. The price has kind of bottomed out. This is not a stock that we're going to be valuing based off of fundamentals. Yes, they're, they're negative earnings. They don't offer a dividend. This is not a stock that we are valuing based off its fundamentals. This is a, a, a moonshot stock. Uh, this is a, 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 a stock that we want to put just a little bit of money in in the, the hopes that if it does succeed over the long term that the shares of this company will be worth significantly more than they are now that they will eventually will one day become profitable because the space tourism industry will become so large. So let's go back to Weeble. Let's go back to the Trade Center. Let's put in ticker symbol for Virgin Galactic, which is SPCE. Let's make sure to do a buy this time. 
we're going to do a market buy. We're going to buy one share. This will just help us add a little bit of risk to our portfolio since we've got two safe buys and we're now doing a risky buy. Let's place that order. Let's buy. And now let's go to our account. So now we're sitting on three stocks. We've got one share of space, one share of Seagate Technologies, and one share of Intel. Looks like we're doing pretty good so far. Hopefully we'll start seeing some dividend coming in. And next month we'll deposit another $100 and make another purchase. Alright all you bulls and bears, I'll see you next time.